Welcome to UTA Spotlight. I am your host, Kylan Riley. Good news for UTA fraternities and sororities, because last month they were taken off suspension. For more details, here's Mallory Reagan with the story. Greek life at UTA was put on social probation this April, following multiple cases of sexual and alcohol-related abuse. Last month, the probation was lifted, allowing chapters to resume social events. The staff at Fraternity and Sorority Life have put new rules in place, including an updated policy for registering events and firm risk policies. I'm here on Greek Row, where some members of the Interfraternity and College Panhellenic Councils live. One of the new policies put in place by Fraternity and Sorority Life is dry houses. There should be no alcohol on any fraternity or sorority property. Richie Joseph, for VP for of Administration and Finance for the Interfraternity Council, says the suspension was beneficial for the Greek community. Uh, I'm very excited about the growth because we've always seen declining numbers from the past few years, but this semester onwards we're starting to see better numbers in Greek life. We're going to prosper more as a community and also help it be safer and a better community. Sydney Johnson, internal VP of recruitment in the College Panhellenic Council, says it allowed members to reevaluate what they signed up for. We created programs for our students to take back the idea of like what they had initially signed up for when they became Greek for the first time instead. Of Mallory Reagan, UTA News. The UTA Health Center organizes free events to help students learn about living a healthy lifestyle. Recently, the UTA Center put on free HIV testing for UTA students. Aditya Ariel has the details. UTA offers free HIV tests for UTA students. HIV being a serious issue at the present time, UTA promotes health awareness programs throughout the year. On September 12th, Health Center organized free HIV test programs. Health educators Heidi Subiza and Christian Abashi shared some information with us. On HIV testing days, uh, as peer educators, we do go upstairs and we call your name. You come downstairs and you get um, a private room for yourself and then you do get HIV tested. It is free and it's accessible to all UTA students, so you might as well come down and get HIV tested. Regardless of your results and status, you, you can come, up, come back for a follow-up within three months. And if you do test positive, we have treatments with an organization called My Health, My Resources. UTA News, Aditya Ariel. September 12th was UTA night at the Globe Life Park. It was the last one before its transition into the Globe Life field. Cassie Munoz has the story. UTA night is an annual tradition where the Texas Rangers host all of UTA. Even alumnus Kayla Wofford was in attendance. This is my third UTA night, and so now I'm an alum. It's great to see the tradition and pride that the UTA students bring. I hope this keeps going on. Students were able to enjoy a night at the ballpark, all while spreading their UTA pride. The presence is awesome. There are a lot of spirit groups here. As you can see behind me, there's the Wranglers. Excel Campus Activities is here, UTA Ambassadors. It's great to have a lot of students here that are really supporting um, the Rangers. UTA students, alumni, and staff at the ballpark tonight not only get to enjoy a great baseball game, but they also get to take home a nice UTA-themed Rangers hat. Students, faculty, alumni, and President Kabari were all in attendance to show off their UTA spirit. UTA alumnus Mike Dulabi threw out the first pitch during the pregame ceremony. Even Blaze stopped by to catch up with his fellow colleague, Captain, at Thursday night's game. I'm Cassie Munoz with UTA News. That's all we have for today. I am your host, Kylan Riley, and I'll see you next time.